Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. I think the stream has started because I normally wait five, 10 seconds for it to come up. <sighs> so this is the challenge is I'm going to make something around a sky pilot, sky pirate, sorry. I have a few ideas. Now, what is the definition of a sky pirate? I don't know. I'm thinking of something around kind of like a boat that's flying in the sky. That to me is Sky Pirate. So that's what I'm going to be kind of basing this one over, one hour challenge. No add-ons, no textures. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else? So no add-ons, no textures. So no pictures or anything like that. It is literally just going to be hard surface modeling built using the built-in stuff within Blender. Uh, what's a, what's a pirate's favorite letter? You'd think it'd be R, but it'd actually be the C. <laughs> so this is the plan. Oh, oh, you beat me to it. Okay. Um, right now. So I'm going to set up the clock, depending on what time we finish and how I feel afterwards, we actually might do this twice. So I actually might do two challenges. So I'm just going to my stopwatch, actually timer. One hour. Oh my goodness, Marco. Why do you do this to yourself? That is the question. Why? This is pointless. Brian Wilson, welcome. Okay. So an hour, an hour to make a sky pirate something. Now, do, yeah, the question is, is Claude, thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. Clack attack. Go check him out on Twitch. Clack attack 404, I think it is. Okay, so this is the plan. Sky Pirate. Sky Pirate. We're doing the Sky Pirate. Something around a flying boat. No add-ons. No kit bashing set. No textures. Nothing. Zip. Scratch. Okay, Marco, let's do this. What are we at? We can do this. Seven... Uh, what's the time? 11.48. So we're going to about 10.48. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Start. There we go. Nice big clock. All right. So let's start off deleting that default cube and then re-adding it. Of course. Let's put in edge loop V to rip. Control L. Oh, screw you. V to rip. Control L. Delete vertices straight into the mirror modifier. So let's kind of maybe get the base of the boat first. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm just thinking. So we're going to extend it like this. I'm going to bring this back. That's going to be kind of the bow, like jack bow. Let's bring it down like so. I'm going to bring, select this edge loop in here. Let's go G, Z. Maybe I'm going to apply that mirror modifier for now. And what we will do is scale, scale this like so. Uh, we'll fix this back end a little bit later. So I'm going to go delete these faces, delete faces, because we don't need them. For this, I'm going actually going to go G to the Z, bring that down. Let's get the back area here going. Box select scale Y, Y, zero, like so. And then from here, I'm going to select this edge loop, this edge and this edge. Actually, let's just select all that. Oops. And we're going to go control B. And you can see kind of like I'll do is going to shoot short tutorial coming out about this soon. We can see that we've got this overlapping. If you come down into bevel and we change it to clamp overlap, there we go. So now we've kind of got this tugboat style thing what I will do is actually bring this up a bit so we have that let's come select that middle section I don't have a middle edge loop do I nope so let's select that V to rip control L delete vertices sorry I'm not gonna be looking too much at chat but that's what we got so far I'm gonna kind of go off a bit of a dinghy style um, from here what are we gonna do so we can probably make this section the base. Um, 
I'm going to press I to do an inset like so. Let's, whoa, geez. Let's press three. I'm going to delete this face. Yes. Let's grab this edge G, whoops, clipping first GX, bring that into the middle down, E to extrude along the Z axis. So now we've kind of got a little bit of a lip in here. Um, I am going to expand this out a little bit, scale along the X, just bring that out like so, just so we've got that. Um, I was really hoping that this was going to be straight. We might, we will do some funky stuff with that, I reckon. Yeah, we'll cheat with that. Let's grab this scale on the Y axis, GY, bring that back. Yeah. From here, what I'm going to do is kind of maybe build a lip. So, oh yeah, that's what we can do. I'm going to grab this here, this face here, G, proportional editing, G, Z. And then it's kind of, kind of have that. So it's as if it's almost like a cloud cutter. Let's scale Z, Z, Z O, scale Z, uh, press N. Let me just quickly bring up screencast keys just in case. So now we've kind of got that bow type section. I'm just gonna do shade smooth. Let's go into that and auto smooth. So now we can see that we've got that. Probably should maybe increase that love in there. So I actually will do that. I'm gonna select that face. Let's go G, Z, whoops, O, whoops, control Z. Oh crud, what are we down? Four minutes, beautiful. G, Z, O, G, Z for proportional editing. I'm just going to scale that up a smidgen. Let's select that. G, Z, sorry, scale Z, zero. Uh, now we can bring this up a little bit. Right. Mm, not Actually, I'm not very happy with that. So now delete this face. Let's kind of grab F2, I mean 2. Let's go. E to extrude scale. E to extrude scale. And then we'll go GY and we'll bring that in. So now we've kind of got this jazz, which means this allows me to go control uh, one, control numpad plus to expand to that GZ. And we bring that down. So now we've got that inner loop I'm going to grab all this G Y and bring it back. There we go. So now we've got that nice little lip in there. Let's just select everything M to merge by distance. All right. Good, 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 good. No, don't worry about the details for now. So now let's kind of work out. I do want some like metal pillars to go around there. So let's kind of go into cylinder. I'm just going to GZ, move that up, scale. Okay, let's go scale and then Z. And so the metal pillars will be something like that. And then we scale this in. Scale that in. Let's kind of have a bulbous into there, scale, bring it in, and then something like that. How does that look? I don't know, let's find out. Whoops, select this. Okay, come back and around. Let's maybe scale it down. G to the Z. I think I might just expand it up. Just so we've got something like that. Now, technically what I should do is with the curve modifier, actually, let's throw in a mirror modifier, mirror. Mirror off that object, cool. And then I'm gonna kind of go like so. The issue is, is that we're gonna have to, just for these first couple, line these up. There we go, control L, G, Z. Control L, there we go. So we're just doing this bit manually. I know there's a way of doing it with the shrink wrap modifier. Um, however, I'm not gonna bother with that because at the end of the day, this is an hour challenge and let's see what we can produce. 
like I've already said, no add-ons, no textures, nothing. Zip, nada, no imported models. There we go, something like this. And then we go like that. And hopefully these are the last two that we have to manually line up. There we go. And now from here, oh, what is it? There's a shift D, Y, is it control R? Shift R? Nah, no, screw you. Oops. Ah, no, no. Marco, pull back. Shift D, Y, Shift R. Yeah, so Shift R will repeat the last action, which I know some of you are probably screaming out. Ooh. Oh, darn, I have to line everything up. Oh, you suck. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's grab that GZ. Okay, so really probably I should have done a curve, oops, a curve modifier array here. Um, but once again, can't remember how to do it off the top of my head. So that's why some of these tutorials that I make are actually for me to remember how to do this stuff. GZ. Now what I will do is probably try and make this a, a wooden boat as well. So these aren't going to be metal pillars, but more, um, dang it. Yeah. I should have been doing shift D. So rather than duplicating shift D, um, what I could have done is duplicated the object. And then if I needed to do any edits, it would have allowed me to do it. All right. So that last one there. Let's go. Claude, thank you very much. What are you saying? The ship looks like the one that we saw in KF98. Sure does. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who don't know, I play Rocket League with Mr. Clack Attack there over on his Twitch channel and also on um, Caddad over on Twitch as well. E to extrude, Z... And there we go. So now we've kind of got this banister type jazz. What I am going to do now is I do want to make some sort of propulsion system. Um, actually, no, let's go shift S curse world origin. I want to make a mast. Do I dare do cloth physics? I think I will be. Okay. Problem is yet yeah, we don't have scale which is kind of bad. Let's go GY. I have been playing a little bit of um, Valheim recently. I've been loving that game. It's been fantastic. So let's go Shift D now, rotate G. I'm gonna bring it to about here, scale like so, and we'll E to extrude. You gonna let me? Cool. Something like that. Let's now be a little bit difficult. Rotate X. All right, so <laughs> this is gonna push my knowledge. I am going to spend three minutes on this. Oh, I can't even use any add-ons, far out. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So we're gonna do that. So we've added a whole bunch of geometry to it. What I'm going to do now is select the edges um, we will select this top bit as well. Um, actually, no, what would... Technically, no, that shouldn't be like that. Anyway, let's, we can come back and fix this up. I'm gonna come over into the cloth settings. Let's first make a vertex group and we'll call this um, pinning. Oops, caps lock is on, that's fine. What I will, what I do want to do is just add a little bit of extra geometry just around the edges, something like that. And like that control numpad plus beautiful and assign hundred percent to that. Let's now check which way the face orientation is good. So we know that it's going to blow out that way. Um, let's come into physics, no cloth. Oh my goodness. Pressure. Three. Um, let's just quickly go into cache, 50. Let's go bake. 
did it work? Oh, sick. It did work to an extent. So it kind of went spinning off. We need to add shape. We need to add in a pin group of pinning. Um, let's go now, delete that bake. Let's bake it again. And, oh, awesome. So now we've kind of got our sail. Beautiful. All right, so that re worked out really well. I am now gonna go press space, um, bake. Baked keyframes, why isn't that working? Okay, uh, why isn't, okay, maybe if I try here, bake, bake action. Oh, no, 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 so what I can do is because I wanna apply that, I can just go control A to apply and now that mesh is a mesh, okay. So we might come back and fix that up. Uh, I don't like the look of this. What we might do is go GY, bring it a little bit lower, rotate Z, nope, 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 nope. Select this one, last, this one? Yeah, okay, sorry, that one, that one, rotate Z, go suck a lemon. Shift S, cursor to selected, select these both, rotate Z, and so now we've kind of got that. So we've now very quickly used a cloth simulation to create that. Um, probably the next thing we need to build is a steering mechanism-ish. So let's go Shift S, Curse World Origin. Let's now come into our cylinder. G to the Z, I should probably turn off this. Face orientation. And then what is all that stuff that everyone wants me to turn on? Something about, no, 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 cavity, cavity, okay. So let's go ahead now and create our steering wheel, GZ. Okay, so now let's press I to do an inset, I to do an inset, I to do an inset. Okay, so from here, three, let's grab, actually no, I want, oh, you suck. All right, let's do that, that, that. And so what I'm doing now is deleting the um, kind of like the spaces in the steering wheel. Okay. Hang on. Oh, geez. Come on, Marco, pull it out. I think that is fine. Yes, that'll be fine. Beautiful. Delete faces. So now we've got our kind of odd steering wheel, E to extrude, like so. Let's grab this initial face scale, um, E to extrude, I, E, I, E. And I might just go G, Z, control B to do a bevel. And then so we've kind of got this little dome piece in the center there. So now we kind of got to go, so now we need to create the kind of like the handles. From here, what I'm just gonna do, actually might throw in a solidify modifier. Let's just have a look what happens. I don't think it's gonna look nice. Oh, almost. Shift R, no, you suck. Ah. Okay, so I'm just kind of adding a little bit extra geometry in there. So now it kind of looks like a little bit of a steel wheel. Um, let's go into mesh, we'll add in our cylinder. G, Z, let's go scale. Uh, what does the handle look like? We'll go like this. And then we'll select this top section, E to extrude, scale. E to extrude, E to extrude. I'm kind of going now, sea of thieves. And then up like this, scale. E to extrude, bring that down. And then what we'll do is we'll select this edge in here, control B, oops, control B. Ooh, okay, let's uh, scale that down. G, Z, and I'm gonna actually scale these down, shift Z. So now we've kind of got a ball. Uh, that looks actually quite nice. Let's do control B through there again. All right, so probably now we can scale these up, rotate 90, put them in here, like so. 
scale shift X no shift Y so we want to make them a bit thicker yep that looks fine to me now we got to move um, so we come up here into 3d cursor let's go shift D rotate 180 select these two shift D rotate 90 select these shift D rotate 45 that's fine now we've got to select all these I should have done it in edit mode but I didn't control J from here I'm gonna actually select put an oops oh geez blender what's going on how's that looking that's looking not too shabby so from here control a apply that select these two control J dang it other way control J to join let's now throw our steering wheel somewhere into the medium medium point there we go rotate 90 minus scale so I'm looking at something like that rotate Z 180 so the next thing we need to do is kind of create some sort of piece that's going to be holding it up why are you not in the set why is this in okay whatever shut up let me just check that that steering wheel is in the center. I mean, technically we can get away with it off center, but that's fine. Okay, let's go shift A cube. All right, we're down 20 minutes already. Oh my goodness, I haven't even started on the undercarriage yet. Um, let's go scale Y. Okay, so something like this. I do like this board. Okay, scale on the X axis. G Z. Um, let's go like this. S oops, scale on the Y axis. G Y. I'm going to plop it about here, and then I'm going to actually grab maybe this line in here. Shift D scale G Y. Bring it all the way out. E to extrude along the Y axis all the way in. Let's grab this. Grab this. Grab this edge. I'm going to press. F let's kind of now put an edge loop through here let's put an edge loop in here control uh, let's select everything shift N I think the normals might be a bit funky control B there we go E to extrude scale alt S to scale scale on the Y axis so now we've kind of got this piece what I will do now is I'm actually going to separate the deck. No, let's not. Oh, I probably should. This is what we'll do. I'm going to select this and all this jazz. Make sure I didn't select anything else. C. And then let's go P, separate by selection. And then we can come into this. And I'm just going to edit this one by itself. What I want to do is kind of like cut a hole just here as if the chain kind of goes down. So let's go. K for the knife tool, Z, C. So C will cut through anything. No, it won't. What else? Let's just press enter. I could have used the bull tool there, but I am just going to use that. Okay. E to extrude. So now we've kind of got this um, from here. What's the easiest, quickest way of doing this? I know. Let's go shift D on that. Control P. Let's select that from here. What I'm going to do, see if this works. If so, I don't have to use a curve modifier. Let's go O for proportional editing, G Y, G Z. Let's bring it all the way down. Scale on the Y, scale on the X. There we go. G Z. G Z. So what this is now doing, scaling on the uh, scale on the X, and we'll increase the size. So now we've kind of almost got a belt going down into the ship. Um, it would be a lot easier if I had all my add-ons, but we're doing it without anything, without nothing. So now we've kind of got our belt. What I'm just going to do is throw in our solidifier modifier on there. Let's make that zero, make it a little bit thicker, even though we're not really going to be seeing too much of it. 
just the fact that it's kind of there that we can actually pay attention to it. Um, we do need to add in quite a bit of jazz on the top here. Bottom bit, what are we at? 37 minutes. Okay, let's just continue on. Let's work out our steering slash propulsion system. So I'm gonna create a sci-fi engine that goes down on the bottom. Now, the other thing as well is I, on my Discord server, I do have a competition going for um, sci-fi propulsion. And so if you wanna jump over onto my Discord and join into that challenge, you are more than welcome. Um, the winner will get a copy of the ship that I created not long ago, last week, I think I finished it. So if you want a copy of that, uh, jump over to my Discord, enter, have some fun, why not? All right, so not bad from here. Let's go, I'm just gonna increase that. Let's press I, G, Y, I again to do an inset, cool beans. From here, I'm just gonna go Shift S cursor, Shift S cursor to selected. Let's add in a plane. All right, come on, bring that down like so. G to the Y. What could, okay, let's just kind of do this. Gee, this is actually a lot of fun doing this. Oops, too steep. Uh, R15 minus, E to extrude, something like that. I think that's too thick. E to extrude. There we go, something like this. Shift D to the Z, let's hold control. Select both of these now, Shift Z. Shift D, Z. Shift D, Z. Something like that. Now, does that cover everything? Cool, 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 cool. Control L, delete vertices. Um, this one here, scale X, bring that one in, Control L, Scale X, bring that one in. Nice. Okay, so what do we got in here? Um, let's go probably something like, let's grab this face in here. Scale I, I, and then we'll get rid of, oh geez, get rid of this delete faces. Control L, E to extrude something like this. Let's create two materials, new, new. Whoops. Uh, this one is gonna be engine, engine glow. And we go with my favorite, which is the blue emission, kind of like the Falcon. Let's go three, jump over into the render settings, ambient occlusion, that thingy my bobs. Okay, so we always have to assign the material. That is something I keep forgetting about. So from here, if we just kind of go into rendered view, we can see that we've kind of got that. Um, we definitely need to start cleaning some of this jazz up. But the plan is, is for this, whoops. Let's maybe select both of them now. Control J to join. And then if we've got time, we're gonna kind of come back through and try and fix this up. So we've got something like this. Let's just throw in our mirror modifier and it'll be based off the deck. So we've got that, um, these pieces here. Actually, we might just leave them sticking out, why not? Let's go GY, bring it back a little bit. Um, we could probably maybe even, <sighs> do we dare be tricky? Let's be tricky. Tricky! Okay, so tab into edit mode, I'm gonna select this F this edge, shift S, cursor to selected. Let's go into a cone, P, separate by selection. Rotate X 90, oh, I suck. Rotate X 90 degrees. You'll see what I'm doing. It's okay, it's okay. I'm cooking with gas. Scale, scale on the Y. It needs to fit directly in there. Okay, so let's kind of go like so, something like here-ish. Beautiful, G to the Y, scale, and we'll make that a little bit bigger. Something like, th no, it's not gonna work. So, what we need to do is, oh, shut your pie hole. 
Let's go scale it up, rotate. And I kind of want that point to actually be sticking out of the bottom of the ship. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cool beans. Okay, we got this. Um, right. Something like this, maybe? Scale, so it fits in there nicely. Okay, so now what I can do is select this and then control shift. No, I can't use, I uh, can't use things. Okay, back. Let's go now into a Boolean. Mind you, that add-on comes with Blender, but still we won't, we'll be legit. Boolean to this. What does that mean? Union, intersect, no, no, difference. Will this work is the next question. Okay, so from here, control A. You suck. Okay, why is that not working? Ah, oh, let's check the orientation, face orientation. That is fine, that is fine. Why are you not working, you daft mole? Okay, let's close, let's get rid of the mirror modifier for now. It looks like it tried to do something. So let's just select all this merge by distance. And we'll just increase that size because it seems like I've done something wrong. Maybe not. Oh no, I did. Yeah, yeah, cool beans. So let's select them two, merge at center. So we fixed up that problem. And then merge at center, because we fix up that problem. So let's try this again. So I'm going to select the whole Boolean, 30 minutes left, far out. That difference. Why is it not working? Why is the Boolean not working? Does it need more? No, it appears to be working. All right, so, okay. So it seems like, oh no, it seems like it did try and cut it. Okay, so that goes around. Yeah, difference, dang it. All right, now I'm starting to lose time. Okay, so, ah, undo, undo, undo. Okay, go on, keep going. All the way back, all the way back, all the way back. Go away, go away. What else? I think you're fixed. Okay, so I've broken something earlier. Okay, so I need to continue. I'm not gonna do that option. Merge at center. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thought I might challenge myself today. Okay, so if that's the case, then with this engine, what we can do is grab this. Actually, we just probably grab everything and just move it down a smidgen. And that'll allow that. Let's kind of maybe put an edge loop through here-ish. Uh, GG through there. And then we can kind of cut this hole there, there. Let's go delete. Oh, actually, no, let's go E to extrude, something like that. And then let's grab this edge in here. Let's go GG. Okay, cool. That'll work. That'll work, Marco. Let's go GZ and bring it all the way up. Um, we will scale these two. We will scale shift Y, these two. And then we can grab this. Something like that. Beautiful. Let's select everything, shift N. Nice. Okay, so the next thing is, is 28 minutes. Okay, let's grab our plane. Let's just kind of start moving forward. We need to move forward. Rotate 90, G to the Y. Um, 
And so rather than the actual engines moving, I'm actually going to make the um, a rudder. Control Shift B to bevel a vertice. Oops, select everything. G to the Y. Let's maybe scale scale on the Y. G Z. Um, solidify modifier. Let's go zero. Make this a nice thick piece in here. Uh, from here, let's just select that. Actually, no, let's just go now into a cube, GY scale. Okay, so something kind of like a flat bar hanging off the edge. Nice. From here, Shift S cursor to selected. Let's go into a cylinder. Something like that. G scale shift Z. That's too big. Scale shift Z. Kind of wouldn't mind something like so. Let's go. I'll tell you what, let's keep with the theme. Something like that. G Z. Let's put an edge loop through there. Control B. E to extrude scale on the shift Z. So we've got that. Let's get rid of this blue and yep. From here, I'm going to go shift D P separate by selection. Let's grab this piece uh, into edit mode scale. I'm going to come into side view, which I should have done this the other way. Select these two here, V to rip, control L G Y. I'm just going to move them out of the way. Then we can select this and this F F. And then what this will allow me to do is grab these pieces, G to the Y, like so. So we kind of have this bit where it goes into the ship. Um, I will not be doing a Boolean again. I don't want to waste time. So I'm just going to E to extrude and it kind of goes in there. With this selected, I'm going to go into a solidifier modifier. So we've kind of got a belt system. Now these things are a little bit boring. Um, definitely could probably put some pipes coming through here. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Shift, Shift S, cursor world origin. Um, let's go, not a curve. I'm gonna do this with a cylinder. What did I just do? Rotate X, nine degrees, scale. So something like this, uh, 45, yep. Let's go E to extrude, scale, E to extrude. Let's put shift right click there. Then we can come to the spin tool, hold control to snap, E to extrude. Let's go all the way back. Yeah. And then from here again, we could probably even go shift right click about there, E to extrude, control L. How does that look? G, Z something like so. So I think that works out really well. We could probably put a bit of a unit in here. Done, let's go with that. Uh, shade, smooth, actually it will shade smooth on the object. So the next time we bring something in, it's already there. Um, we could probably, let's go into edit mode. I'm just gonna rotate it around so it sits something like that. Shift D, let's bring it up. Something like that. Let's also add in a mirror modifier so it goes onto both sides of the ship. Um, from here, what do we got? 23 minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Shift S. Um, let's actually go into edit mode in here. Let's go into a cube. G, scale. And so what we're gonna be creating is something that's gonna slot in here. Let's go G to the X. Actually, no, I want that curve in there. So I'm gonna actually bring it back a smidgen. Um, let's grab this face, G, Z. So it goes in like so. Uh, let's put an edge loop through here. Gonna grab this and we're gonna move that in, G, Z. 
gx. So we kind of have this piece in here. Definitely we've got to do a little bit more with the back engine, but we have to keep going from here. I'm gonna put an edge loop scale Z zero to make sure it's straight, E to extrude. So we kind of now have this piece in here. Let's kind of go something like that. Control B to do a bevel, select these edges again, control shift to do a bevel. Let's just go GZ. I'm just gonna put a bit of a lip in there and I'll do the same over here. Control B, uh, select those edges again, control B. Let's kind of grab that G to the Z. Just kind of adding it a little bit of flair. That's, I actually really like that. That's looking quite nice. I'm gonna grab this section in here. Um, let's go G and we'll go something like so. I think that's fine. Let's do a, another edge loop and then we can actually grab this J to the X, bring it in. And we could probably even grab this edge. Actually, we'll put an edge loop through here. Just give that a little bit of definition. Select these two, oh, come on. Select these two, G to the X. There we go. I do like these inserts. They probably could have been better. Um, how can we do this? Maybe if we go GG. Um, let's grab this and this and we'll go GG. Okay, GG. Bring that up and around, GG. Bring that up and around. And then we can go G to the Z, bring that down to about there. Select this edge, G, Z. Select this edge, there's an edge in here somewhere. Ah, okay, so we seem to be overlapping. Gonna waste a little bit of time on trying to clean up the mesh now. G, Z, bring that down, G, X, bring it over like so. Let's go G, X, bring that down, G, Z, and bring that down. So now we've kind of got a little bit more of curvature in there. Not happy about that, but oh well. Okay, so the engines. Right, let's select this. Shift S, cursor to selected. We've got 20 minutes to go. Don't think it's without add-ons. What, don't think it, so he is. Okay, sorry, I gotta read all the rest of the stuff. Um, but yes, I would be loving some <laughs> add-ons right about now. <laughs> oh. All right, so now we have this. I'm going to go around and grab every third. Whoops. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Did I miss one? I got a feeling I missed one. That one. Delete faces. All right. Let's now go ahead. Why am I doing that, you muppet? Let's select all these. Control L, P, separate by selection. With this, Control L, Control I to invert the selection, delete vertices. And then let's kind of now just uh, just really quickly create some sort of panel-y stuff. Let's put an edge loop through there. Um, let's go GG, GG. Um, e to extrude, something like that. Let's maybe grab these three in here. G, something like that in here. Shift D, scale on the X axis. Put an edge loop through there, delete vertices. And we can grab this E to extrude, scale on the X axis. Control L, G, Z, bring it down like so. How's that looking? That's looking not too bad. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I pressed just then. So from here, what I would do is select this piece, shift S, cursor to selected in here. Okay, let's go now, shift D, whoops. 3D cursor, rotate 180, shift D, rotate 60, shift D, rotate 60. So now we've kind of got these fins happening, just to give a little bit more detail. Probably could have gone a little bit harder, but you know what, that's fine. Um, from here, we need to just go, let's go shade smooth in there. Object data normals auto smooth. And that way I know that we can probably bring this back. So it pops, there we go. So now we've got our pop. Let's go G, 
actually no, we will keep that one as is. From here, let's go, whoa, jeez. Shift right click, let's add in a cylinder. All right, so with 10 minutes to go, we'll probably stop modeling and then I'm gonna try and assign some materials or something, I don't know. GY, kind of we'll put our pipe through there, GY, jeez, GY, just to about there. Let's go like that, Control B. And then from here, I'm gonna select these two, Control B. Let's select this edge loop, scale, shift, uh, shift Y. All right, and now we've got that. I can now grab this and I can go Shift D, Shift D. And so now it's kind of like we've added in some pistons. Definitely we don't really have much happening up here. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead, Shift D, duplicate that. GZ, okay. And this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go tab into edit mode. From here, I'm gonna delete this bottom face in here. Delete vertices. Oh, what? Oh, that's right, because it's, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Period key, whoops. Let's get rid of delete vertices. So now we've got this. From here, what I'm gonna do, use the brain. I'm just gonna go K, whoops. I kind of wanna make floorboards. So let's go K, C, Z, make sure we cut through everything, move it over. And so we're just kind of making some boards. Enter. Oh, what? You didn't stack, oh, you suck. So from here, what I can do is I'm gonna select these edge loops, control B to do a bevel, delete faces. So now we've kind of got this. From here, what I'll do is come into here and go solidify modifier. Let's go zero. Oh my goodness, that turned out so well except for these corner bits, but you know what, stuff that. So let's kind of go into edit mode now. I am just gonna do some random cuts. Nope. Okay, let's go scale Y. Ah, 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 here. Medium point, scale Y, zero. Uh, control B, delete faces. And so for those of you who have been watching my channel long enough, you will know this is how I kind of sci create sci-fi panels. Obviously with a little, few extra steps. Um, let's kind of, ooh, let's not do that one. Let's go scale, Y, zero, delete faces. Will it, now it allows me to do more edge loops, scale, Y, zero, control B, delete faces. Yeah, nice, nice. All right, so let's do a few like so. And let's grab these borders here. This is gonna be ugly up here, so we should have probably cleaned that up. Let's go individual, scale Y, zero, control B, delete faces. This section here. Let's kind of grab all that, merge to last. Ooh, let's, ah, look at this ugliness here. Mm, mm, ugly it is. Mm. I should probably clean that up. Let's go K, K, C, Z, and then we'll do this same there, enter. And then I'm just gonna delete that floorboard just there. And then what we can do, scale Y zero. Let's grab all these, merge at last. Marco, why are you focusing on that? All right, so now, uh oh, if I go Alt G, there we go. So now that's given us kind of like 
um, wood paneling that we can attach to on there, the side. So first things first, I'm going to do this. Let's select that E to extrude. So it comes out. This isn't going to be fun. Uh, let's scale on the Y axis. 12 minutes to go. Uh, suck. All right. And I want to grab, Oh, okay. I can't do that. Can I? That's fine. Let's grab all this. So the plan is, is to duplicate all this. Shift D, P, separate by selection. Use the brain. Solidify a modifier. One. And so this is going to be kind of the bulkhead. However, this and this merge at last, merge at last, and that will allow that. I want to select this edge here, scale X zero, G X. There we go. So now I've kind of got this bulkhead coming through there. I want to select this edge, control B, just to give it a little bit of extra geometry to make it look a little bit smoother. I mean, we could probably do it with all, actually, we could just select all this, control B. Nice. All right, that's not looking too bad. Oh, I do kind of want to make pieces of wood along there. What is the quickest way, Marco? Okay. What do we got? We've got ugh, 10 minutes, 30 remaining. I do kind of, oh, but I kind of want, okay. Oh, no, I'm going to leave the bottom plane, but what I am going to do is give this top section a little bit of extra love. So let's kind of bring that up, scale it like so. I'm going to put an edge loop through there, control B to bevel that out. Actually, no, we can just go bevel like so. And then we go control B. And so now that gives us our barrel. Let's make it a little bit more stumpier. I to do an inset E to extrude. And so now we've got the top of the barrel. Let's just go uh, shade smooth, come over here into auto smooth. All right, what do we got now? Let's select this edge, this edge, shift D, P separate by selection, come over into modifiers, add modifier, solidify modifier. Sorry, that's, that's Marco's thinking hand. Um, Let's, I think if we select this and we go GG, let's go GG. I know we're meant to have kind of three rings, but uh, yeah, time's uh, running out. Let's, let's select this. I'm going to go Shift DP, separate by selection, grab that, that, Control J. And now that gives us this ring from here. I might just scale this out, scale that in. So now it looks like we've got a top ring. Um, from here, I'm going to go shift D to duplicate that. Let's now grab all these edges. It's only 32. It's fine. I think <laughs> we're getting there. If you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, you know, all that jazz. All right. All right, there we go. Now let's do control B. Uh, we just want a little bit like so, delete faces. From here, I'm gonna come into the solidifier modifier. Let's change this to zero. That's a little bit too big. These we can probably make a little bit thicker, but now we've created some, um, let's go control A on that one. Let's go control A on that one and we'll keep that. Control J to join. And uh, yeah, so uh, I just quickly made some barrels. So <laughs> let's put them there. Let's go G, Shift D. And we're just going to kind of scatter them around like so. Um, one thing 
Oh, geez, seven minutes left. Okay, I've got something I want to do, but I'll do that afterwards if we make time. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. That looks ugly. <laughs> Come on, Margo, stop doing stuff. E to extrude, scale, uh, shift Y, something like that. Uh, we'll do the same here. Let's put an edge loop through there, control B, middle mouse button, control numpad minus, alt S. All right, cool beans. And then we'll do in here as well. So that trick there with a control B, um, add an extra edge loop, control numpad minus, alt S. That is from the wonderful Mr. Chris Kuhn. Love that guy, but I hate him at the same time because he is amazing. Um, so make sure you go check out his stuff. Jerk. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> Select this edge, control, oh no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Select. control, shift B, let's get something like that. Okay, let's start doing materials. New, new, new. Okay, so this one is going to be metal. Um, oh, into shading. Oh, this is going to look like crap. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Settle down, mate. She'll be right. Let's kind of just give that metallic. Why are you lagging like a dog? Specularity. Bring up the roughness. Um, move it to, okay, from here, I kind of want a bit of a rusty rust bucket, um, boat, six minutes, noise texture, color, uh, mix, RGB, put that to this, actually, no, I need that to here, factor in there, um, make this black just so I can roughly see scale 40 50 um, color ramp wow I don't know blenders lagging for some reason at the moment and I'm not thrilled I wish I had my 3080 however uh-huh all right so we've kind of got these bits in here so we've now kind of differentiated what kind of bo color boat I kind of want a red boat to be almost in the homage of um, the fifth element guy. So let's maybe, what we might do is just, no, 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 that, and then we'll make it whiter, um, specularity in there as well. We might need to invert it. Oh, that looks like crap. That looks like crap. That, uh, that's, uh, that's not exactly what I wanted. Uh, actually, let's go into EV Renderer. Mm, eh, looks like crud. Okay, so for this one is going to be my wood. I'm just kind of putting in very simple colors now. Brown. Let's go into modifiers. Let's just put in a bevel. Beautiful, that's a little bit too strong. So let's go 0 0.03, 0 0.01. Uh, let's go into angle. Oh, it is angle. Oh, oh, that's new in Blender 2.9. Ah, three. There we go. Um, so this is our wood one. Cool. Four minutes, crud. This here can be metal. Um, and then I'm going to select these two. Control L. You can be metal, but your metal too. We duplicate the material and I'm just going to make that a bit darker. Hit assign. There we go. We've got our line. That looks like crud. Um, smooth. Okay, let's... Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Let's delete, delete. Three materials. You are metal first. This, this, this. Control L, assign. Um, this one here, actually, let's just go hide. I don't want to see them. Let's go into wood one, uh, specularity down and the roughness up. So want the real slim shady, please stand up from here. What I'm going to do is go select random, oops, faces. Let's go select random again, select a random 50% is too high. Select random. Oh my goodness, two and a half minutes. Let's go 10, control L. 
select a ran oh fine, just do it like this. Alright. It's trying to be too tricky. Control What? What? D d oh jeez. Delete faces. And then we'll delete the bottom face. Oh, come on. There's a bottom face. Where are you? You're killing me! I don't care right now. Delete faces. Control L. Where is that joined? Ah, oh, suck a blur. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is just give the wood a little bit of variance. Let's go assign. This one here is going to be wood. Duplicate this wood. And I'm just going to make it slightly darker. Uh, so now if we kind of go into render. Yeah, we've got kind of that happening. Um, let's go floorboards. Number three. Cool, 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 cool. Two materials. You are wood one. Control L, assign, you will be wood. No, you are wood. Did I, you, okay, assign. There we go. Oh gosh, a oh, minute left. <laughs> wood, that can be white. Uh, specularity down and the roughness up. Now we need to grab this under section. Let's just go hide. That bit there needs to be wood. Alt H. This here can be, whoops, there's a crate back there. Let's select this. Shift D, Shift D. Something like so. So I stuffed up. I didn't leave anything for my kind of like world. Oh, I'll stuff this. Wood one, can, oh, I can't even add, oh dang it. Uh, 30 seconds. Sky texture <laughs> into color. Uh, that thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that bottom of the boat looks 10 seconds to go. Whatevs. Um, beautiful. Done. Look. It's an hour. <laughs> Materials aren't my strong point. Oh, I didn't even put a material on this. So this should have been metal. This kind of worked out okay. Kind of added everything. This red is horrendous. I shouldn't have done that. Um, we didn't give a rudder or anything. We did have some cloth simulation in it. That's not too bad. The ideas were there. Definitely, I'm going to come back and I think... So, actually... Save. Sky Pirate. Um, cool. Save as. So probably, what would I do differently? I would probably come into modeling. Modeling? Layout. Layout is what I was. All right. So this is the second file. Um, if I had my add-ons, probably... I would have gone something along the lines of metal. Well, actually, no, I would have made the bottom wood. Uh, whoops, I'm gonna add in this jazz. Stuff normal. Um, so I probably would have added something like that in. Um, we need to kind of go you smart UV project Oakley Doakley um, and then kind of scale it up. So I'm just kind of going through all the stuff for that. I would have liked to have done material settings. So we're going to go into edit mode. We go into UV scale. I think if I go into four, nope, it needs to go into about 0.6. So I probably would have done something like that. The wood, Turned out okay. This metal stuff, um, probably, I don't know, something like this. Metal, we'll refresh that. 
uh, let's select everything you smart EV project my goodness I need a graphics card um, this as well probably would have been metal metal 14 is that what you want what's this one metal 14 this would have been metal 14 so I mean already yeah probably this color here would be something different this I probably should have cut up as well but you know let me go through the chat wow there's a bit of chat let me check solar panels oh that would have been a good idea 3DC, welcome, mate. Show render. Yeah, so this is pretty much the render. I don't have... Um, the other... Oh, probably, you know what I would have done as well, if I had the opportunity, is gone... Let's go... Sorry, I'm just going to try and adjust this as much as possible. Probably should have put some holes in the sail, maybe, just giving it a little bit of extra worn out. Let's bring the camera back a little bit. Um, so one thing I definitely would have done is, where is it? Physical, physical starlight add on. So all these things are in the description. Probably would have thrown this in. Where's my, do I have a sun? Starlight, yeah, probably. Nope. Sorry. Hang on. I'm still in Eevee. If we jump over it in cycles, go to GPU. So if uh, anyone's got a spare 3080 lying around. <laughs> so just changing now the performance to 512 by 512 and let that render out. Pirate Frag is an idea. Next challenge, design a Dota 2 character. I don't want, ugh, character creation I hate. And that's why I use character creator. Uh, for a sky prior, I would have replaced scale. Yeah. Nice. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I wasn't reading chat, but I mean, it turned out okay. Like I initially had the plan of doing the two different sets of wood. Something I would have liked to have done is maybe a building or a staircase down into the ship. But once again, for like an hour, that's not bad. Oh, the sail's not connected to anything. Oh, that's kind of bad. Uh, but I was, yeah, I was pretty happy with being able to use some uh, cloth simulation. In saying that, what I should have done is added elasticity to the sail so that when it kind of like the pressure built outwards, it would have um, actually kind of bulged out more. I think that would have been a lot better. I don't even know if I'm in view anymore. Yeah, there we go. So, yes. So anyway, like I said before, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe. Um, on my Discord, we do have a competition for sci-fi propulsion. Um, if you win it, we will shut your pie hole. Uh, <laughs> I will be giving away this ship that we that I created in about five hours when it loads. Yeah, this one. So, oh, this is something else I was working on. So this ship here will be giving away. So I was just doing some kind of like tests at the moment with an idea that I had. Once that finishes rendering. So let that, yeah, it's going to take a little bit. Um, question for everyone here. How much time do you spend in Blender every day? So when I was doing the short film, not last week, the week before it would have been almost six hours. Um, but now nowhere near as much, just a lot of it's kind of like muscle memory. A lot of it is, you know, I find a picture and I'm like, Oh, that looks kind of nice. Um, the other thing is I do a variety of things now as well. Um, I got to stop playing games. I reckon if I played less games, I could probably be a lot better, <laughs> but I'm nowhere near 
as much as I used to be because obviously got a full time job, kids, married, so on and so forth. Um, so I just put a dummy material on there. This was the main bit that I wanted to see what it looked like once it kind of does it. A bit more in the weekend. <laughs> So, but anyway, so that ship there. Yeah, anyway, that was an idea. This is just an idea that I had. Um, so yeah, let me just click on this. Whatevs. Uh, so this ship here took me about five, six hours and I did this both on YouTube and on Twitch. So I kind of deal kind of like the junk stuff over on Twitch. This will be for the site uh, for the web series that I'm creating. Um, this that pirate sky pirate thing is actually for a challenge over on in Hubert's Discord. Um, so I've got a few ideas to do with that. Um, how's the back look like? Let me just come back around to here. I'm just going to go Shift D. Oh my goodness! I really need my 3080. It's on pre-order. When is it going to come? Who stinking knows? Go control numpad zero. Bring that down. So physical starlight add-on is just an amazing thing just to make stuff look good. Oops, this way. Just kind of looking at the shadow somewhere around here-ish. Whatever. So I'm just going to press F12 on that one as well. Um, do you know Crossmind Studios? No. I have no idea who he is. I will jump on that one and I will check him out as well. Crossmind Studio. Who's this guy? Don't play a video. Yeah, I'll have to check him out. He's uh, a lot better than me by the looks of it. <laughs> as most people are. <laughs> So, but yeah, that's not bad. I got to, yeah, I definitely add more detailing. What I initially wanted to do was this wood paneling, but around here as well. And I think I might go back and do that. But yeah, there we go. So it's a little bit of a short stream, just over an hour, I think. Um, if you, if you want me to keep doing this, let me know. Leave a comment somewhere on <laughs> some video, whatever. Um... I actually enjoyed this. Yeah. Okay. If I get enough feedback, I'll put in a community post and then I'll run a, um, kind of like a poll on what's the next thing to create. Cause I really enjoyed this. This is something I'm not used to doing a boat per se. Um, but yeah, let's go with that. All right, I'm going to call it a night. It is 11 o'clock. I want to edit a video for tomorrow. So tomorrow's video will be all about, um, a little bit more about cloth simulation. And for instance, if you've got like a trench coat, so that only physics is on the trench coat and not the upper body. So you can kind of have that cloth simulation. What else have we got coming up? Um, I have no idea what that is, but I've got to Google it. People are asking about it. And two other short videos, two short hard surfacing tips. So if you haven't already subscribed, if you want to keep up to date with all this jazz, um, what else? If there is anything you want me to do a tutorial on, I actually read all my comments at the moment. So if you kind of go through and you'll see that there's a like and a heart and normally a reply to everything, normally. I do like probably 90% of the comments I get back to so leave a comment below. Mark, can you do some help on Auto Rig Pro and Deep Motion? Deep Motion. What's Deep Motion? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. I think you sent me an in Instagram message, if I remember correctly. Anyway, let's call it a night. Yes, if you're the one that sent me an Instagram message, I'll get back to you in a sec. But anyway, let's call it a night. Thank you very much, guys. And until next week's live stream, we will go from there. Where is the button? There it is. Thanks, guys. See you later.